Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Brandon Trogge, Technical Service Manager for, with FMC in the state of Nebraska. I have you joining me here in this field south of Ogallala. Um, and what's interesting is that this field has had a history of Pythium. Now, generally when we think of our damping off diseases like Pythium, Phytophthora, Rhizoctonia fusarium, the first thing that comes to mind is cool, wet conditions. Well, that's not necessarily a prerequisite. Now, while we did have the cooler conditions in May this year, um, the one thing we haven't had a lot of out here is moisture. Um, this is a coarser soil, but it does set up like concrete. And so with the inoculum that's been present over these past couple of years, um, we can see some substantial injury from the Pythium. And it's very hard to distinguish. You know, generally we just refer to it as damping off. When we're trying to actually identify Pythium, um, what stands out most to me is you're gonna have the necrosis and death of that mesocotyl, and that is going to um, kind of prevent um, the shooting up of the coleoptile and uh, delay that shoot. And so as we're looking out across the field, we'll generally see shorter plants. Um, they'll start to wilt back. Um, a lot of that early plant success is dependent upon getting nutrients from that seed. And so having that mesocotyl injury prevents that. Um, and so a lot of the plants out here in this non-treated check that I happen to be standing in will succumb to this disease or um, will make it, but then we'll have possibly some lodging or stalk issues later on. And what's is that um, we don't have a lot of genetic resistance um, to these diseases through our corn hybrids. Uh, most seed treatments are effective, but if you have substantial inoculum, it can override um, those protective uh, practices. And so it pays to have something in furrow at plant. And it really helps if we have a product that we can control both our seedling diseases, but also our uh, at plant, or uh, early season insects, whether it be seed corn maggots, rootworm, um, larvae, uh, wireworms, grubs. Um, and one of the things that we found has been very efficacious in that regard is Ethos XB. Uh, many of you are familiar with Capture LFR. Ethos XB is practically the same product, but with an additional um, fungicidal component. Um, it actually has antifungal lipopeptides, but in every ounce of product, you also get millions of these colony forming units. So we have antifungal properties, but it's also gonna grow and colonize along that root system. Um, and so while we still have a lot of Pythium issues in this non-treated check, um, the ethos treated plots look much better. And with some of these plants I dug just a little bit ago, um, it's warm today, so these are already starting to wilt. Even on the plants in the non-treated check that don't exhibit true symptoms, you know, when I dug this, this was a relatively healthy looking plant, um, but you can see by the thickness of the stalk, the crown, um, a little bit of necrosis here along the mesocotyl, you just don't see that with a similar plant dug, with a healthier plant dug from the Ethos XB side. And you can see that mesocotyl is very healthy. Um, we were able to push that um, shoot up through the ground very efficiently and the uh, stalk thickness should translate to um, a much better yield later in the scenario, or late, later in the year. Um, and so you can see from just from these, that healthy plants can have a distinctive difference. And this is in the absence of some heavy um, insect pressure. Um, and then of course, when you start throwing fusarium or tough weather conditions into the mix, um, it pays to have everything um, up front. Because obviously our number one investment before we can even start and hope for a hopeful season is the seed. Um, Ethos XB, also available on the 3D platform, um, can help get you there. So if you have any questions or concerns, reach out to me or any other FMC representative. Again, my name is Brandon Trogge and we're here to help. <laughs>